Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Where's your kid? Jose and John are looking for you. They oh. went to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Okay, the moonshine. Now what? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. That call is always fun. Kind of lonely out here. Eh, it depends on the situation. We'll ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch okay. asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Ah. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, uh -oh. what exactly are we doing? Lenny! This is the moonshine we took. Oh, yeah, that was the Lenny mission. That's right. Still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, it's about to have a womp womp with those two houses, you know? <laughs> you think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. And they're gonna try to stop us? Here we are. Modest oh, yeah. little homestead, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Ah. This is Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Oh yeah, we get a guard in the back. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Understandable. Driver, proceed, please. Driver? Oh, God. That's a, no, 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 no. Please come back in my mouth. Ah! I don't mind selling, but I was kind of like over the edge, dude. <laughs> Okay, just going straight over. Yes, alrighty. What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? Yeah. <laughs> Pay the man. Cool. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. Uh -huh. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. Uh -huh. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. 
drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. Hmm. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You both Make tactic action to win the love for the public. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. If it right. goes well, though. Next stop, the road saloon. How did we turn this around that fast? Wait. There we go. God damn it. Can we not just go off road? I want to try to go off road, man. Like, look at this direction here we can go compared compare to what we need to do. I just say we try to optimize. Yeah, yeah. Just need to get off the wall, out of the walls, and then we do it. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkerton. Wants to keep their full effort oh, on going after gangs, gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Here we go. Speed one, right. precise. <laughs> it's the most speed one you ever get out of the stream. <laughs> the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray, See, this even hole in the fetch. No. It's like they wanted me to do this. Inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing just. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's... Idiot... Brother. Oh, fuck! You're the, you're the idiot. Did I just throw over a rabbit there? Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Ah! 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 Okay, here we go. Here we go. My... Small... My Aditya. My Aditya. Here. Here we go. Good, it's fine. Just a bit sweet. And it. Perfect. What about you? You can't speak. Your turn, idiot. Right? Bro, poor man is hot. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Here we go. Um. I want to reverse. God damn it. Um, through the fence. They don't mind it. Damn it. Um. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm stuck. Um. What uh, now, Arthur? Um. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. The wagon's stuck. No shit, sure. <laughs> How do we? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I thought it would stop automatically on the point, but no. Okay. Now we know. <laughs> now we know. All right. Ah, Let's fuck shake. We're all the way back here. Saloon. Well, we know this. Here we go. Hey, new horses, though. We know the route. So I finally sold those cornwalls. Yeah. Well done, Arthur. I don't think it was meant to hit the horses because it didn't move right. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. Uh, we go up there. That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with 
Ah. Uh, Sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves. Getting up in here. Few. Fine. We'll need something. I ain't playing just. <laughs> Last you know yeah. How I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're. Now, don't tell me I'm you're stuck a again. Idiot, brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Oh fuck, Jake! Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. What's <laughs> going on? For just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. I don't know what that oh, scream you. was, but I'm stuck again. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this it works, it works, it works. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. There we go. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We got it now. We got it. Ah, it's an easy. Ah, it's an easy. Easy boy. Easy boy. There. Okay, Benton, <laughs> stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> I want my old hat back. So what did you just post in the chat? <laughs> Besides the <laughs> clip. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! <laughs> Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do? What's from earlier? Oh, God. Go along now. <laughs> Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Ah, we're handing out the liquor. All oh, right. You check it out after the mission. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yeah. Yeah. Said you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Oh, <laughs> ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's good luck. I don't have one Billy. Three drinks. A gift. Yeah. Bounty. It's a sin to look at gift horses. When I see a gift horse. Yeah. Here. I love how they made like a mechanic artist. Now it's your opportunity to get a drunk. You're fine, man. We got one fine, man. Don't listen to your brother. Yeah. Was that 30 minutes? I would be so hard if this happened to me. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Generous poor. Well, right here's the spot. People coming, Finn. 
We was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 shit. I want both those, both those. Both those. Come here, come here, come here. Help me. Boom. Oh, hey, hey, this way. What the? <laughs> Damn it. So we're jumping? I did fine, did fine. Told not to shoot in this town. Just point it out. Kill the horse. That's the key. Ah, what the hell? Oh, poor horse! Oh, God! We have to move again. We definitely have to move again, I think. You see any more of them? No. I think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. All right. Probably, yeah. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in what was it? Advertising. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Might have. Maybe. This place is odd. Is that my hat? Keep Dude, that's my hat! Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. You I'll should be lots of magic? Really? See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go check the Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. 
On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. That's what I said. Exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Okay. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something. Ain't nobody going to know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are going to kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. Uh -huh. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay. So what did you have here, Daddy? 